and yet um, there's this uh, sort of conspiracy by, by the government and, and, and its, its agents, the, the, the arts councils and the film councils, to uh, manage people's perceptions so that they think that there is a British film industry. <laughs> and uh, of course it's, it's terribly hard because you get all these kids doing media courses at universities thinking there is a British film industry and that you know, if they're, as you say, talented, they have merit, that they will be able to join in and make, start making films. So when they come out, they're confused. They don't understand why can't they get any work. Uh, why, uh, why isn't anybody, hardly anybody, there are a few exceptions, but, you know, hardly anybody's making any films. So, uh, and where do you go with your script, you know, when you've written it? There are no studios, you can't go to a studio with your script. There aren't any. So, you know, uh, nobody's told them that. So, you know, I, as somebody who's, um, you know, a bit older now, it's like, yeah, I, I'm going to tell people the truth because I don't want them to go through, you know, unnecessary uh, pain and suffering and, con and confusion simply because the government's lying to them. Uh, they should wake up and, you know, people like me and other people who know what they're talking about because they've been in the industry for years will, 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 will tell you what's true and what isn't true.